Hello. So, okay, it wasn't actually the first day of school. We got mixed up. It was actually an enrollment day, but it was still good that I went. But I did my nails, and he keeps trying to scratch it all off, doesn't he? Doesn't like it. You don't like my nail varnish. She wants it off. Doesn't like it. Too colourful. You're gonna remove it, Charlie, are you? That better, is it? Oh, he did. Remove the corner. No. He can't remove my skin, Mr. Man. But anyway, um, you gotta go. What do I do with something that's constantly stuck on me? Is he? Is he fly? Fly! He's like earthquake. Anyway, okay then. Um, well, there's only two places in the world that I don't like him to go. That's on my head and on his laptop. And where does he spend all of his time? All of his time. Anyway, so um, yeah, it was an enrollment day. It went okay. It was a bit scary. I sort of made two friends. I spoke to two girls at the beginning of the day. She was. They weren't in my tutor or anything. One was Portuguese. Very, very, very strong accent, but I love accents. I don't know why. And one was... I guess I just admire people for learning English. And one was Romanian. I don't know how I managed to attract two people with heavy accents, but... No, I love accents, but... Um, oh, it was strange. They both told me that they didn't have friends in their last schools. And one of them... Um, I said I was vegetarian, and one of them said, Oh, I, I don't you find it really hard? I said, No. And, and they said, um, She said, Oh, because I, I've tried like controlling my food and weight and things. I'm a bit obsessive like that. I was like, How do I know you people? How have we managed to find each other? And then I found out both of them are shorter than me. Shorter than me in my high heels. But it makes a difference, okay? Because no one is shorter than me. The one's 156 centimetres, which is 2 or 3 centimetres higher than me only. And the other one is 4 foot 11, which is about the same as me, I think. So yeah, discoveries all around. I don't know if I'll be properly friends with them when school starts, because as I said, they're not in any of my groups or anything, but it was nice that a couple of people spoke, I guess. Um, they kept on being the awkward question of, Oh, did you do your GCSEs? No. Why not? Wasn't in school. Or, what school did you come from? I didn't. Oh, were you homeschooled? Nope. No, I was in hospital. Silence. So that's the awkward question. It was so awkward. I was there two hours early. Because the actual enrollment started at 10 o'clock. There was sort of an assembly there, and then, you know. But, um, I was there at 8, so I was there, like, really awkward. And then they put me in this hall thing. It was like the common room, but it was really big, and it had loads and loads and loads of tables and chairs and things. And, um, what are you doing to me? And, um, <sighs> so distracting. Um, yeah, um, they sort of said, oh, there's another boy who's very early, just go and sit with him, and he was, at, like, at the table, like, reading something, like, and, um, so I sort of went over, and I had to sit on his table, because I was told to, sort of sat down, so I went, hi, and he went, I was like, Aah! and then it was complete silence from there on out, and I am so glad that I brought a book, so I sat down reading, and, um, about an hour or so later, another lad came in, an hour early, and um, he sat down on a table a couple of tables away from us and um, eventually after about half an hour the guy turned around and he said oh are you here for the enrolment? and the second guy went yeah and the first one went what are you doing over there? come sit with us and I just thought poor poor sod and he came over and he sat on our table 
and then it was silence and it was just three of us on this little table in a whole hall of loads and loads and loads of tables just like I was really tempted to look up and go that you regret, regret sitting here now but I couldn't I didn't want people to hate me but yeah it was it was quite awkward it was very awkward I actually had my mum call me just so I had a reason to go out the room for a minute but um yeah, after that, quite a few people came in. That's when I met the two um, young ladies. And then after we were, just, we went to our sort of tutor type things after this assembly thing. Blah, blah, blah. And um, it was really awkward because they gave us these stupid sheets of paper. They did this on the induction day as well. But we have to go around, we have to find out who lives in Dorchester and, and um, who is a vegetarian. Who went to an Olympic event? Who has been camping? And you have to go around the room and first one to fill it out like winds or something. I don't think anyone filled it out um, altogether. But I didn't move. I just sort of sat there like in silence, looking very nervous. <coughs> Off the laptop, one. And um, so a few people came over to me and they're like, "You want anything on this list?" I'm vegetarian. Eventually, I, I swear the entire class had it as, "Who's a vegetarian?" Rachel. Some guy spelt my name like Richie, R I C H, and then a couple of little curly things. But they weren't an E R N L. They didn't resemble the or L. They were just like it, it was really strange. I was like, my name is Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Mhm. Mm okay. Like you haven't written Rachel. You've written Richie. I'm not Richie. I'm Rachel. Rachel, not Rich. I'm not a boy. Despite the short hair, I am still a girl. You know, the painted nails, the necklace and things, I'm sure guys can do that as well, but you know, I'm I'm a girl. I'm a girl. You know, I, I just I sort of look different from a boy. Just a little bit, I hope. But um yeah, Richie. Um But yeah, it was, it was very awkward and I was so wanted to completely blend in and it didn't work out because they did that stupid thing. And then one of these teacher guys came over to me and he said, Oh, have, have you spoken to anyone yet? Yeah, a couple of people have come to me. Um, and he went, Oh, do you want me to go and get a few more? I was like, No, no, no. Imagine if he went over and said, Oh, go and speak to Rachel. Wait. And then um, it came to choosing our options. Um, I mean options, our A-levels, and um, obviously I haven't had my GCSE results yet, so I couldn't fill that in, but I said I wanted to take um, English language and different things like that, and they were like, English language, right, okay. Well, are we going to put a question mark next to it, because you don't know if you've got a B and above or yet or not, I was like, okay. And um, so she, like, said, oh, okay, you just need to go and get your form signed now, and then you can go home. And I went to this big hall thing where this, these guys were sat down amongst a few younger people signing all these different forms. I gave them my form, which had no GCSEs because I haven't got the results yet, and those A levels with a couple of question marks next to them. And um, they were like, Why is there a question mark next to English language? And I was like, um, Because I don't know what I got as the results yet. Why not? I haven't actually received the results yet. Why not? And I was in front of people, I sort of went, Well, um, it was sent to um, hospital, but when we called hospital they said they sent it to Compass and then when we called Compass they said they'd send it on and that was Thursday two weeks ago and she was like, right, and they sort of shouted across, um, okay, so this young lady has been in hospital and therefore doesn't have her results. I was like, no, no, shush, 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 and um, yeah, he was like, Okay, right, okay. And um, they said, so Rachel's a bit of a special case. And I sort of just start, sat there and I went, and the guy next to him sort of noticed, and he went, you've gone through this a few times, haven't you? I was like, because that wasn't the reason why I went like that. It was the fact that he just went, Rachel's a bit of a special case in front of a few people. I was like, <sighs> and um, yeah, so then they went, Mr. Nichols. And Mr. Nichols came over and he went, No, 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 it's Rachel, don't worry, just let her have it. I was like, I like my Mr. Nichols. Um, Mr. Nichols I saw on the interview when I went there for the induction day. Um, basically, no matter what my GCSEs are, I can still do the A-levels, but it's better if I actually do have the GCSE results, just in case I might like, got a D or something like that. 
or lower. Um, so, yeah, and it said, would you like to retake your maths GCSE at the bottom? I was like, retake? Taking it would be good, tick. Um, would you like to retake English? Depends on my score, but if I've got anything lower than an A, then tick. Yes, I would like to retake my English GCSE, please. Um, so, yeah. And that was that. At the end of the day, I had a very, very long walk tr trying to find a bus stop as I was lost, as I'm not used to Dodge. Dorchester at all. So um, eventually I managed to find a bus stop. It took a long time though. Let's not destroy the bus timetable. He's just a home wrecker. House wrecker. Charlie. 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 What are you doing? Great. Tasty? No. No. He's a nightmare. At least he's got some nice long tail feathers now, look. Yeah. There's gonna be... Leave it. Leave it, Mr. Man. But yeah, there is gonna be, um... A bit of difficulty with food bags, obviously. I couldn't bring a drink there because I got a nice flask that I thought maybe I could put like coffee in and then it spilled when I tipped it upside down so I was like ah! and um so I'm sort of stuck thinking what do I do and um I don't know I'm thinking maybe if I wean myself onto food a little bit more I could maybe bring some nuts to school or something I don't know, I just need something that people can't see me eating. Maybe raisins, although those are really high in sugar. But then that's the high in fat, I'd rather sugar than fat. Hmm. If I somehow managed to get four to sips in a different packaging. I don't know, but yeah. Um, so that's how the day went. The actual first day of school is, what's it called? Wednesday, so. So yeah, we'll see then. So yeah. I didn't even get to wear my nice new shoes. I had to wear my black heels instead, which are a real step down from my red ones. Get it? A step down. Get it? Step down. Oh god. Um. Yeah. No! Oh look, up to you, it's like I'm still the right way up, but from here I'm upside down. How weird is that? Who else just had to tip upside down their laptop to see what I could really, what I really look like? Shame for the fat floats up. That was the Why am I doing all of this today? Look, my eyes. Those are my real eyes. My real eyes. You guys are the only ones who see my real eyes. Dun dun. Ding. What am I doing? My bird. Jolly boy. Charlie boy Budgie. Oh, you're in a strop. <laughs> Stroppy budgies. 